Hello everyone. I hope that you are all doing well. This is me, Sayyid Shujatullah. Welcome to Achievers Academy. Today, we will be discussing the very, very important chapter that is infrastructure. Okay. This is the chapter number 7th of Telangana Socioeconomic Outlook 2022. Right? Okay. So, from the picture only, you can able to see what we are actually going to discuss. So, we are going to discuss about basically the transportation. Okay. Then, uh, this is also like you can see that this is uh, completely a road transportation is there here. Road transportation and uh, this is a flyover and this is also a flyover is under being built in the right side and this is our metro okay so basically we are talking about here transportation and also we'll go ahead with electricity nothing but energy right okay in transportation sorry in infrastructure as you all know that infrastructure infra means which is at the surf on the surface of earth on the surface on where we are standing so we call it as infra structure means nothing but any any structure we have built and from that structure we derive we derive a service infrastructure generally gives what services suppose as i have told you that anything that is built on land is called as infra let's suppose the infra here is Okay, uh, infra on the land, we have built a police station. What does police station gives us? They give a service called as law and order. Then on the land only, that is nothing but on infra, we built what? Codes. What that codes gives us? Code gives us justice. Right? Fine. Then uh, what does assembly gives us? Law making. Fine. In the same way, the power plants we establish on land only, power plants will give you electricity water pipelines water supply we established the water pipelines are supply underground will give you what water supply water pipelines right or wrong so here you can understand even for transportation purpose we will build what flyovers roadways national highways whatever it is they give us what transportation service right electricity is a service Water supply is a service. Transportation is a service. Okay. Law and order is a service. Justice is a service. Banking services are also there because banks are also established on what? Land. Nothing but on infra. Nothing but on infra. So, every structure, every structure that gives a long-term service, long-term service like this. Okay. We call it as infrastructure. So, in our infrastructure chapter of Socioeconomic Outlook 2022, we are going to discuss about transportation water sanitation energy communication even for the communication purpose also mobile towers has been established on land only on infra only right suppose a structure built in air aerial structure structure built in air we call it as supra structure why we call it as supra means it is not on the land it is on the air just like our metro Metro is suprastructure because it is not on the land but it is on the air. Service is given aerially, not on the land. So you can also argue, sir, pillars to hai na on the land, but they are not, people are not moving from the land, no. They are moving in the air. That's why it is suprastructure. So road network managed by. So you can see here very clearly national highways we are having 3,910 kilometers. Roads and building departments of Telangana has built around 27,000 kilometers. Okay. And Panchayat Raj roads are around 67,000 rural roads. Then GHMC constructed roads in our Hyderabad city 9,000. So total road network, if you see, it is coming around. We can see here 1 lakh, 1 lakh 7,871 kilometer is our total road network. Okay. Including national highways. The roads constructed by roads and building department, then also Panchayat Raj, so and so forth. Right. National highways, roads managed by roads and building department, rural roads managed by Panchayat Raj engineering department, roads managed by Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. So, these four important bodies are looking after road development and its extension in our state. 
Hyderabad is having the highest road network of around 9,000, okay, 13 kilometers. Right. Types of road material you can see here. This is concrete top CC. Okay, this is one is metal. This is one is black top. This one is metal. Unmetal will be there, kacha roads. Okay, and concrete you know very well that cement we say no cement that works. As of 2020 to 2021, Telangana has a total road density of 96 kilometer per 100 square kilometer. So, for every 100 square kilometer you take, 96 kilometer road connectivity is given either through concrete, either through metal, either through unmetal, okay, or either through, either through backtop. So, whatever it is, these are all about government initiatives only. So, every 100 kilometer, Telangana is having 96 kilometer proper roadway is given to us in any of this following material. The road density of Hyderabad is maximum because every 100 square kilometer of Hyderabad area almost around 4152 sorry 4154 kilometer of road length is there means in every gully in, in every lane we are having what roads because generally in a city Generally, city you will see what granular roads. Granular roads mean nothing but many roads you will see, many roads like this. Generally, in a city, just like in our nearby our home, many gullies are there, many lanes are there. So, including this means uh, we are having around for every 100 kilometers, because Hyderabad is not more than 100 kilometers also. So, 100 kilometers of Hyderabad, if we see, we are having around 4154 kilometers of road length has been laid by any of this material by the government of Telangana. Right. Varangal, Rural and Karimnagar are the districts with highest road density. Okay, after what Hyderabad? So, they are having the density like 130 km per 100 square kilometer and 121 km per 100 square kilometer. So, this is the second. This is the third in ranking with regard to what? Road density. Least road density you will find in Mulugu followed by Padradri, Kutagram. Telangana, now we will go to electricity. Telangana has achieved 100% saturation in houses electrification by 2018 only. Means Telangana government is able to provide 100% electricity to each household by 2018. If you see the vehicle related initiatives taken by the government of Telangana, T-App Folio launched February 2018. Okay. So what does it do? app folio the it's a mobile application for citizen services anytime anywhere offers artificial intelligence based liveness liveness detection and deep learning based comparison to check the authenticity of the photo received through the smart phone okay like with that vehicle the police people the traffic people will take the photo no that will help them to identify the authenticity of that particular vehicle this is supplemented by machine learning based on entry resolution. Check the demographic attributes of the applicant. TRS RTC is doing very, very well, my dear students, because it has been received an award called as Petroleum Conservation Research Association has given a national award for the second best state transport unit in the country for, per kilometer per liter. Means for every kilometer, okay, for every, sorry, for every liter, whenever it is going kilometer, it is reducing what? carbon emissions petroleum efficiency is there means usage of usage of fuel one liter in other state one liter that their rtc is going let us suppose one liter their rtc is going 10 kilometer in our ts rtc in one liter it is going at what 14 kilometers means we are having very good fuel efficiency that is what it is saying okay kilometer per liter we are going more kmpl hayat nagar Opal Dishunagar depots have received the best depot awards for Honorable Government of Telangana for their best performance in kilometer per liter. Telangana State Renewable Energy Development Corporation Limited has also instituted Telangana State Energy Conservation Awards. Okay, in 2021, Satupalli depot received the golden award for fuel conservation. If they ask you depot, it is Satupalli. If they ask you governor received awards, Hayat Nagar, Uppal, Dilshub Nagar. If they ask you the award received through Telangana State Energy Conservation Award, it is nothing but Sadhupali. Which award is given? Gold award is given. Important. Strategic Road Development Program of Telangana. 22 transit infrastructure including flyovers, overbridges and underpasses. 
transit means moving infrastructure, moving roads, moving ways will be created by Telangana. There, that moving infrastructure could be flyovers, over bridges, subways, whatever it is, underpasses. The comprehensive road management, so sorry, the comprehensive road maintenance program was introduced for the maintenance work of around 710 kilometer roads in the GHMC area. The government has also decided to identify and develop missing link corridors and slip roads that would address the growing traffic. So whenever any road is there, okay, but road is having a lot of congestion, can we have a, another slip road? Can people can go from this way also? Another slip road is that if anybody wants to go here, okay, they can take, go like this, they can go like this. this, is called as what? Slip road. Okay, link corridor means uh, like you can, if you are in Hyderabad, you may be knowing this fact. From uh, suppose if if you are in Hyderabad, I do I don't live there, but still I am aware of this fact. If you want to go to Banjara Hills, okay, Banjara Hills, if you want to go uh, from what Sikandrabad, or you can say Begum Pit, okay. If you want to go to Banjara Hills, or if you want to go to Panjagutta, if you want to go to Khairatabad, if you want to go to Amir Pet, if you want to go to any of this. Okay, from Begum Pet, if you want to go to like Khairdabad, if you want to go to Panjagutta, if you want to go to Banjara Hills, if you want to go to Amir Pet, from Begum Pet, there is only one line is there. Means Patni people has to come to Begum Pet only, Paradise people has to come to Begum Pet only, Minister Road people has to come to Begum Pet only, all of them has to come to Begum Pet, and that is why in Begum Pet, lot of traffic is this because this is a this particular road will open to very, very, very commercialized areas of our state. Sorry, of our city. That is the reason wherever there is no link is there. Like we want to avoid Begum Pet to Banjar Hills, we want. Begum Pet to Khairtabad, we want. So like that link roads, wherever is missing, government of Telangana will do that under this strategic road development program. It is a very, very, very visionary program of our CM. Then Hyderabad Metro Rail, I don't have to tell you. You might have learned it a lot of time in as being an aspirant. It is completely 79 kilometer long. Phase 2 of Hyderabad Metro Rail include 31 kilometer air, airport express. Okay. Rayadrugam to Rajiv Gandhi International Airport. So, now you can directly go. Okay. Uh, from the uh, flyover, directly go to what? International Airport only. Already we are having PV Narsimara Express which start from Maidi Patnam to. Okay. It just gives you up to Shamshabad you can go. Okay, but not exactly to the airport. Again, from this area, you have to go to like 5 to 8 kilometers. You have to go to reach airport. Now, government of Telangana wants to have another flyover here. Directly, you can go to what? Airport. If you see the air, airport related performance, the Hyderabad Airport Cargo Terminal has certified with the World Health Organization Good Storage and Distribution Practices. Means, if any products we generally want to send through aeroplane, to any other country, Hyderabad airport is having very good storage facilities. The things are not getting damaged. The things are not getting what spoiled. Okay, properly they are taking care of our storage. Okay, and they are able to transit. They are able to send it. Rajiv Gandhi International Airport has also become the best airport in Asia Pacific region. Okay, because it is actually taking around 15 to 25 million passengers per annum. Almost like 15 lakhs to 25 lakhs people are traveling from our Rajiv Gandhi International Airport. Okay, airport uh, category by the this is okay. Then if you see the logistic, logistic is very very important. Mangalapalli logistic park is there in Ibrahim Pattam. This is how the logistic park is there. You keep here from here, they will be transporting to other places. So important point here you have to remember. Recently, government of Telangana has proposed a logistic park at which place? They will ask you this question, so your answer will be Mangalapalli. Water supply and sanitation literacy. Mission Bhagiratha, you know it very well, 2016, to provide what? Safe drinking water. Safe drinking water to all of us should be given to us. Tap, the to tap. Means that we should open tap in our home. We should get what? Drinking water. This is the project. It's a flagship program of the government of Telangana to provide safe means with no toxicity, adequate means five members, how much is sufficient, that much will be given to you. Sustainable means today you got the water, tomorrow you did not get, therefore tomorrow you got again for three days, you did not get, it should not be like that. Every day you should get what? Adequate and safe water, treated drinking water to the entire state, except Hyderabad urban agglomeration, where a separate water supply system is already functional. 
the vision of mission bhagiratha owes to the success of siddhi pet com comprehensive drinking water scheme means mission bhagiratha okay it is it is actually modeled you can say the modeled on the siddhi pet comprehensive drinking water scheme tap to each household was the slogan that time and they were successful in it so on the lines of that only okay this particular bhagiratha program has been launched this siddhi pet comprehensive drinking water program was actually conceived and implemented in 1998 by the then mla of siddhi pet and present our chief minister ksr sir okay so telangana received first prize in national water mission awards very important okay under this national water mission 100 liters per person per day should be given and the water should be treated and should be we are getting in our tap pipe to every household in rural areas 135 liters per capita per day in municipalities 150 liters per capita in municipal corporation okay so to provide this government of telangana has laid mammoth okay largest 1. 30 lakh kilometer stretch of what water pipelines has been laid by the government of telangana to achieve this objective and we are doing very very well that is the reason the government of india has awarded telangana first in national water mission award percentage of households with functional tap connection see telangana is having 100% every tap given to the household of telangana is functional what is coming from it followed by what goa andaman okay if you remember first three that is enough then swachh bharat mission what is it it is aimed at progressive towards target 6.2 of sustainable development goal number 6 established by united nations in 2015 you know that sustainable development goals has been envisioned and introduced in the paris summit of united nation convention on climate change that is 2015 paris summit held in 2015 in this summit only sustainable development goals 17 goals around 169 targets are there so in this goal 6.2 goal number 6.2 talks about such bharat mission means cleanliness drive first time the government of india launched the such bharat mission in the year 2014 and what was the objective at the time that india should be clean india should be hygienic and quality of life in the rural areas should be what great in 2014 the sanitation coverage in telangana was only 27.32% all chatta garbage every, everything littering okay and uh, uh, fecal matter drainage water is flowing on the roads so very 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 less hygiene conditions and sanitation conditions were there in the rural areas 20 at uh, just 27.32% of the areas were what good within 5 years the state constructed over 30 lakh toilets out of which more than 19 lakh toilets were constructed under such bharat mission gramin so in rural area 19 lakh toilets has been constructed telangana was declared open defecation free in 2019 no one is taking any bowl no one is taking a mug and going on in the in the, in the corners of the forest okay or the backwards backyards of the houses not sitting on the nala and not open defecating it so we have come a very long way in the performance of such bharat mission and uh, 27% is very very far my dear students 27% is very very low okay but we were successful in like within like 5 years 2014 15 16 17 18 within 4 years we were declared as open defecation free with this you can easily understand the government is very serious about what cleanliness and hygieneness and sanitation of our state swachh bharat mission 2.0 directly taken from the website of the government of india only so it is to be implemented because swachh bharat uh, one worked from 2014 to 19 after that again the, the push was given to such a two mission 2020-21 to 2024 to 2025 okay this much amount of money is being invested around 52000 crores it will focus on odf plus open defecation we got now this is what odf plus what is odf plus okay manarega workers especially who are working in grey water means drainage water management of our bathrooms the people who are working in this water management will complement the newly launched jal jeevan mission so jal jeevan mission along with manarega people who are working here they will also work now here okay the fund will be 90 10 for 90 to 10 for the northeast and himalayan states you know this very well for the rest states for the union territories 100% money will be given by the government of telang uh, sorry government of it in india campaigns under such bharat mission plastic se raksha you should not use single use plastic is already banned on july in july 2022 so don't use single use plastic swachhta 
pakwada means every backyard backyard of every household surrounding your household should be clean swachhta shramdan swachhta hi seva hai phase 1 of swachh bharat mission lasted october 2019 as i have told you okay and basically phase 1 concentrated on eradication of manual scavenging means people who are rack picking and picking the chitta garbage from the roads no we have to eradicate because it is the work is very very low dignity to the human being when you are all happily living and you cannot see your fellow mates fellow human beings to be doing that work right so that is the reason generating awareness and bringing about a behavioral change around the sanitation practices the moment you go to the washroom wash your hand okay and make sure that sanitation whatever is there around you in the bathroom also is clean augmentation of capacity at the local levels phase 2 will be okay open defecation free and improve the solid and liquid waste see phase 1 will be concentrating on only on open defecation free means you should not do any kind of fecal release in the environment just like that phase 2 will be concentrating on the same odf plus solid and liquid waste management which is produced in our areas okay like uh, solid waste management my mom generally makes what cooking etc so all the vegetables are there no they are again thrown uh in in in, in my house in the cellar we will put it so that particular person the ghc person will come and he will take so so that solid should not be thrown on the roads proper collection proper disposing proper sorting should be there with regard to the solid waste that is the reason government of the uh, india as all the state to properly do the solid and liquid waste management along with odf so odf to the phase 2 is having got this new objective formal and sachu bharat mission is not new mission remember this point okay we know that because of the prime minister modi ji marketing skills we are aware of this sachu bharat mission very very good but it's not the first mission of cleanliness and neatness drive in our country already formal sanitation program was first launched during the period of jawala nairu in 1954 only then central rural sanitation program was launched during the period of radhika gandhi total sanitation program uh, campaign was launched in 1999 nirmal bharat abhiyan again in the congress government 2012 this is ayas adal ji siddipet and pedapalli district received the best districts in the country award as part of world toilet day under the andagi gangdi gang gandagi mukt bharat gandagi means chitta okay Telangana achieved first position for maximum samadhan. Means we have taken numerous steps and enormous steps to make this such a Bharat mission one and two very successful. Okay, yes. Open defecation plus strategy and open defecation plus sustainability includes solid and liquid waste management. Visible cleanliness should be there. If you see that everything should be clean. Information, education, and communication. given to the people to the rural communities about solid and liquid waste management now let us come to energy sanitation is over transportation we have seen now we are going towards what energy telangana is the only state in the country to provide 24 into 7 free power to all agriculture consumers 2014 to 19 470 megawatt agriculture we have we have got this much of energy capacity now we are having 17218 megawatt in 2021 so our energy growth rate has cumulatively after the state formation we have increased our energy production on an average rate of 10.48 percentage annual compound growth rate telangana stands third in south indian states in terms of growth rate in installed capacity means we have added so much energy capacity in this period that we will st we stood at third the state has fourth highest per capita availability of power means per person using the power like i am also sitting in front of tiktok i am also sorry the ring light i am also oh, i have just opened my uh, tube light i have just opened my ac and also fan is also running so per person availability okay we are having enormous fourth highest per capita availability of power in the country telangana among all states has a second highest growth rate in per capita availability of power per person it means last year 2014 i will be using i i alone was using 5 kilowatt but now i am using what 10 kilowatt basically it is also said in your microeconomics okay in your economic option if you ever have wanted to study that okay in uh, it is also said that more electricity consumption is a symbol of what development also we say because when you are doing with koila okay when you are doing with coal the ironing of your clothes but you have shifted to what our electricity 
then the bill will be increased or not yes it means what happened from the coal run iron to you have moved toward electricity so it's a quality of standard of living developed or not increase or not yes so increase in energy consumption per capita is also one of the indicator of standard of living any under we are first in both we are fourth highest per capita is there and second highest growth rate per capita is there bihar is better in both the renewable sources held nearly 150 in our state 23 percent okay 23 percent of our energy resources is what renewable whereas karnataka is having the highest renewable energy okay in their energy or fuel mix 64 percent okay so we are having solar wind bagasse biomass municipal industrial waste and mini hydel power plants are there so if you see telangana related data with regard to all energy all energy uh, production sources thermal is the highest capacity thermal energy sources is as a highest followed by renewable then followed by hydel then followed by gas make sure that you are aware of this fact okay so when you see the uh, by capacity by sector state government is owning 51 percent of total energy production followed by private sector and central government is owning around 15.9 so the state government is owning 51 nearly more than half of the state energy production thanks to what god because they have given us singarini coal mines renewable share of telangana solar energy within uh, solar energy as such is contributing 23 percent in our all energy production sources whereas within the solar energy sorry renewable energy solar energy with a contribution of more than 90 percent telangana that's why telangana government has established state solar power policy 2015 so solar after solar energy the next renewable highest renewable second highest renewable energy in our state is wind then followed by waste bagasse biomass small hydel power units so make sure that the hydel energy contributes very very less in our in our state make sure that this chronology you remember and you will not forget telangana electric vehicle policy also we have launched 2030 or 2030 as a measure to combat what climate change and carbon emission or global warming telangana has third lowest transmission loss means from the energy production from the energy production to the our household means this is the power plant from the household if energy is transmitted how much losses we are having okay it is a very common fact that if we are sending here 100 kilowatt the households will not get 100 kilowatt they will get only 80 kilowatt so that is the reason that is the reason so this is called as transmission when we are transmitting the loss is happening so telangana is managing so good the transmission things eh, that it is ranking third lowest transmission loss Per capita consumption of electricity in Telangana, Telangana was around 39.519 million units in 2014 to 15. By 2021, this increased to 17,000 more, 57,000 it has become. Electricity consumers, okay. Electricity, who are the people consuming more electricity? Agriculture people are consuming 15% of our total electricity production, followed by 72% of energy production is consumed. Whatever the energy is produced, electricity is produced in our state of Telangana, 72% of that is being used by you and me, nothing but domestic people. Okay. And followed by, so domestic usage is greater than agriculture, is greater than industrial connections, industries. So we are the ones, you and me are the ones which are using what? Maximum amount of energy produced in our state. Hyderabad is obviously having lot of houses and parallel and the vertical buildings we are having apartments 10, 10, 20, 20 floors we are having that's why highest consumer of electricity in our state. Komaram Bhim has only 1,51,000 becomes what? Households connections are only 1,51,000 that's why it becomes a district which is low lowest energy consumption. Okay. Agricultural connections are highest in Medak. Domestic consumers are highest in Mitchell. Hyderabad highest percentage of industrial product uh, connections are there. Please remember this very, very important data. Okay. Overall, we overall domestic is number one followed by agriculture. So in domestic, which district is having more consumption of electricity means mutual. In agriculture, which is second in energy consumption, which district is having what highest energy consumption in agriculture means medak. Like that it is given. And obviously Hyderabad is an industrialized uh, city. That is why the highest energy consumption in Hyderabad on an average is coming to industries. When you see the communication, Digital Telangana stands on two pivots. One on the supply side, another on the demand side. Supply side is nothing but when you don't lay optical fiber, when you don't lay internet wires, etc. How can 
the people can use RTA Valid, TF Folio, eSeva, MeSeva. They cannot use. So first of all, important thing is that lay this optical fibers to nook and corner of our state. And second one is demand. Demand side is the people should be digitally literate to actually use the smartphone so that they can use what MeSeva and eSeva. So two are important here. Okay, number of mobile phones per thousand person is called as sorry number of mobile phones per hundred person is called as tele density means out of 100 people how many people are having a smartphone telangana is seventh in this and goa is one means in goa you can understand that every person is having one smartphone in our state okay every hundred person uh every person is not having what out of hundred person all of them are not having one phone just like our maid is there okay our uh, I can say that our watchman is there, watchman is having, but uh, his wife is not having. So like that. So out of 100 people, Telangana is not having all the people with a smartphone. So to make sure that uh, government should lay the optical fibers, now, National Optical Fiber Network program was launched in the year 2011. The same was renamed by the Modi government okay, in the year 2016 as Bharat Net, Bharat Internet. Means give internet to all Bharat, to nook and corner of the country laying nothing but laying of optical fibers so some objectives are there here which are very important please let us see that also so this national optical fiber network it aims to connect all 250000 gram panchayats and we all gram panchayats should be given the optical fiber diameter of around 100 mbps speed bharatnet little bit what okay it's a broadband 2 mbps to 20 mbps to all households and all institution affordable means very sasta then on the line that is what central government this what this is not there now this has been replaced by this one this is what central government then on the lines of this telangana government has launched the fiber launched in the year 2015 okay nothing but uh, uh, to realize the digital telangana to all the 33 districts means all the 33 districts should be able to access what internet by 2020 and uh, telangana government wanted to deliver in this particular project 4 to 100 mbps uh, that much of speed should be given to households and 2200 MBBS should be given to all government institutions across the state whether they are in rural areas or in districts or in anywhere mandals okay 2200 MBBS minimum have to be given can be scaled they can increase up to what 1 Gbps okay Telangana state technology services TSTS has identified master system integrator for implementation of T fiber projects in three packages okay in three packages you can see here that is like uh, not important now if you see the uh, printing presses in our telangana telugu like 58 percent of uh, newspapers are of telugu followed by urdu then english okay then uh, if you see this year share of publication monthly monthly subscriber of uh, newspapers are 38 daily people read 37 etc so and so forth post office if you see Telangana is having, you know that gun from the very well. Okay, Telangana postal circle under India Post has around 47 head of post offices. And you can have the data. They give you what uh, saving schemes, passport services, other services, flatly services also they will give. Radio station, FM radios, we are in 12 FM radios are there. Okay. 15 all India radio stations are there in Telangana. In that 15, uh, 12 FM okay 12 uh, metropolitan one is statewide there are 11 operational private fm radio stations in telangana eight based in hyderabad and three in varangal so you can get the data just for your information if they ask you to write down about transportation and communication in a group one means this data you have to write then television and community radio television and community radio let us see this the state has two Doodarshan studio centers, Hyderabad one, Varangal. And a digital high power TV transmitter project is also there in Hyderabad. According to the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India, 11 community radio stations are registered in Telangana, of which 10 are private. Community means catering to all of us. Okay, means whatever they telecast know, all of us will be able to hear. The community radio managed by University of Hyderabad is public, means free. There are 127 multiple system operators registered in Telangana. 
right this is all about the infrastructure of telangana i hope this is all clear to you please share to your students so that your friends so that they will also get the benefit of these lectures because group 3 group 4 and group 2 notification has come so it becomes very valuable information to all of you hope that you all crack and you are all focused and don't lose any kind of uh, time don't go out and just sit in your home and just study bye bye take care